Hey guys, this is Blair with the Taylor team, and today we're going to talk about some of the common issues that we run into uh, when we're selling investment properties. So uh, I've got Lisa here today. Lisa is our listing coordinator. Uh, this is her job to get them prepped and ready, get them on the market so we can get them sold. Um, so Lisa, what kind of information does a seller need to be able to provide uh, when putting an investment property on the market that's ten off? Okay, so there's a few items that we do need. Um, number one is contact information. Um, so we need all the tenant contact information. That okay. way we can keep them up to date um, okay. throughout the whole process. Um, and they can also receive showing notifications, uh, which is important while they're occupying the property. Um, Number two is lease terms. Uh, we need to know the length of the lease right. as well as the monthly rental rate. Um, we also need to know the termination requirements. Um, it, it basically tells us how long the lease is actually in place for. Um, this actually helps with negotiating offers in the future. Mm -hmm. So so basically, and in a nutshell, like we gotta know how long the lease is or else we don't know what to negotiate when the offer comes in. Correct. And yes. we wanna be prepared in order to negotiate, obviously, when the time comes. Correct. And still keep tenant on good terms, too. Right. Some of these tenants transfer with properties and some That's don't. True. That's so, true. It's, yeah. it's up to the potential buyers. So how is communication to tenant important when selling one? Um, communication is key. Um, you want to make sure that your intentions to sell are known to the tenant as well as the property manager. Um, this includes um, just going over the tenant's options. Um, First of all, if, if they know that you're selling, they, they also need to know what their options are once the property is sold. Right. Um, you know, uh, it alleviates confusion, frustration, uh, fears of the unknown, which also helps with them and cooperating during the selling process. So. And, it's, and it's hard, and I know from the past, if you're the first yes. person that talks to them about selling the property and they're like, oh really, my property's being sold? Yes. Not yes. ideal. Yes. We want to kind of get the fears out of the way, especially if they're going to stay so they can stay for the new owner. Correct. Yes. Um, so what expectations need to be set with these tenants? Okay. So uh, obviously we want uh, the properties to be vacant, but we don't always get that choice. Um, yes. Yeah. So um, with the tenants, uh, we do prefer them to be gone during showings, inspections, mm -hmm. appraisals. Um, and so with that, we do require a, or we like to provide a 24 hour required notice. Um, this gives them plenty of time to go somewhere else, you know, right. man, you know, figure out some arrangements where they can be somewhere else during that time. Um, with that being said, that 24 hour notice is auto confirmed. Um, and auto confirmed basically means that there's no confirmation needed. It will automatically be confirmed. It's what we call a go and show. Right. So, um, but they'll have that 24 hour notice in advance so they know where they need to go. And what I, you know, this is her kind of making the process smooth. What I tell the tenants too is, look, we want to give you a good recommendation to that new owner that's purchasing it. And in order for us to do that, if you work with us well, we'll be like, this tenant's great, and then great to work with, think they'll be a great tenant. Right. So we want to be able to pause, pass along a positive recommendation as long as they can help the process, make the process easy for the sale. Correct. Um, yes. Um, the other thing that you want to set expectations for is the. Okay cleanliness and presentable uh, for, for showings. Right. Um, you want to make sure it is good for them. Uh, it, it's First impressions are everything. So um, it sets the tone for the rest of the showing as well as the rest of the process for selling it. Yeah, that's huge. I mean, we've got to get people there and then it's got to look presentable and good in order for us to sell it. And that's Correct. the case with any property. Yeah. So what else is important when getting ready to sell it? Um, it sounds silly to say, but keys. Uh, you gotta have keys to sell a property. <laughs> um, really, just need to make sure they're readily available. We don't care who provides them. It could be the tenant, the seller, or the property manager, but just make them readily available so we can have them for showings, um, appraisals, inspections, everything else that's involved with the selling process. Um, and yeah, it's just keys. We need keys. <laughs> it is funny how many times we they won't have the keys, the tenants have the keys, we gotta to try to track down the keys. Yes. So if we got that in the beginning, it just makes it smoother, it makes the process easier. And we're not like trying to go on the market and get keys made with the tenant, and it just helps things kind of move along. Because yeah. obviously you want to get them on and get them moving and get a solid contract. Um, so 
what's at stake if we don't do these items that we've been talking about? Well, no communication with the tenant or property manager uh, can cause major problems. Um, as Blair mentioned before, you know, I've had in the past where I've called a tenant and introduced myself, um, told them we were going to set up showings, and they were extremely shocked or surprised. And understandably, they're going to have questions, concerns, right. fears, um, and that plays a major part in their cooperation and how they respond in the future. Um, so we want to just make sure that we are communicating with everyone uh, that is involved, and again, that's tenants and property managers. Um, yeah, you just you just want to make sure that they know that your intention is to sell. And I think uh, from what you're saying, what's important is if we do that and we talk about next step and the new owner and many times those leases are transferring to the person, just help them realize that uh, in a situation where they're going to stay, it, that we're going to get this worked out, they're not going to be homeless, Correct. and uh, they feel stable so they don't get nervous. Right. Right. Um, so um, the other thing is no keys can stop the momentum of a, um, of, of a cell. Um, so in the past, sellers have left the test and mm -hmm. obtaining the property keys from right. the tenants. Right. Um, tenants working a 12 hour shift and can't get off of work and get us a key. So it's sitting there on the market, unable to show for days and days. And so therefore that is jeopardizing your listing. Um, those days right. on market start climbing um, and then agents start questioning, why is it still on the market? So um, it's a good thing to just have those keys up front and have that communication with your tenants and property. And especially in a hyperactive market like this, we want showing, showing, showings on offers. Correct. Right. And so we want to do everything we can in order to make that happen. Right from the gate. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So, guys, hopefully we've answered all your questions around what surrounds uh, the sale of uh, your investment property and how we do that, kind of prepare that for the market. Um, if you've got any other questions, you can contact us the number below or shoot us an email. Uh, we look forward to helping you guys in the future, as always, and I hope you have a great day. Thanks, guys.